Alrighty, everybody. We're going to stop it about five seconds early. How are we doing, everybody? It has been a long-ass time. What's going on, guys? Tuning in with the live stream. Hope you guys are doing well tonight. Let's see who we got tuning in right now. Boom, 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 boom. Checking this out. We have... Luke, we have Kanan, the usuals. Guys, it has been forever. Lindsay Lozano, Ridgery, my boy. Everybody, check it out. We're doing a rockin' the electric t shirt right now. Now, everybody, we did, technically, we are, I guess you could say, sold out of these for now. Um, but it is okay. <sighs> Guys, you may be noticing world class douchebags certainly did notice. We shaved. We shaved. It is gone. It is gone. It is gone. It is gone. The electric beard is no more, at least until I decide that I want to grow it out again, which I'm currently doing. Everybody, I needed a makeover. I needed to uh, get, I guess you could say clean, just like the Quest packages behind me say cheap clean. <laughs> Who else do we have going in right now? Uh, shout out to Javori Hacker 12 who says, fuck you, Eric. Well, fuck you too, sir. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> um, yes, yes, yes. Who else do we have? Uh, Mr. Eric says, no electric t-shirts in Germany. Solution, uh, no one purchased any electric shirts, unfortunately. So, um, well, back when I really released them, I only had a few subscribers purchase them, but that's okay, everybody. Uh, I plan on actually releasing a newer version of the Isle of Cards shirts very soon. So you guys can bet on that. That's going to be happening. Now, everybody, what I wanted to first go over with you before I show you what I'm eating, because that, of course, is what everybody's here for. Uh, Florencia Prado says hello from Uruguay. What's up? Um, I'm going to show you guys. I had probably the biggest expo haul ever. You guys saw if you were, um, well, if you did check out the latest vlog, I hate this angle. By the way, everybody, I am sick right now. That's why my voice is the way it is. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm sick. I'm kind of dealing with that. I'm like never, ever, 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 ever sick. But I am right now. I don't know why, but it is what it is. I'm going to be showing you guys right now what I got. I guess you could say this is going to be a better angle right here. You guys are just going to have to see my ass, which is going to be good. Um, what's up with the audio? I don't know what's up with the audio. Hopefully. Well, you guys are seeing yourself right there. Oh, I guess that looks a little bit better. You guys can see Harold in the background of my stomach. It's should like that. But I guess you'll like that. Ugh, gosh, I can't talk. So, everybody... I'm going to be showing you right here. This is going to be, obviously you guys have seen the, this is the Rocky Road Quest bars right here. So uh, we got, we got a huge haul, everybody. Um, these, in these bags, they were giving these out at the expo. So, um, well, if you guys are on my social media, you guys will see the full haul in one picture. So you guys should all go check me out on Instagram if you haven't already. So, what Quest actually just released are these new cereal bars. Wow. So you guys can see those right there. These look absolutely amazing. I did get to try the waffle flavor, which is this one right here. Shout out to my boy Tim Thibodeau for feeding me that at the expo. Um, and then also Quest put these in there as well. So these are cookies, I guess. So boom. Um, now, unfortunately, everybody, watch well, I'll go into it a little bit. Uh, so we have those as well. What else is in here that I wanted to show you guys? Anything important? Oh yeah, this flavor as well. This is actually the one I'm most excited about because cinnamon rolls are my one of my favorite things in the entire world. So now, what I buy these? With my own money? No. Just gonna say that right now. But everybody eats free, and when it's free, I don't complain. And I take it. So what are we say right now? Uh, I wish Quest could go vegan. Uh, 
don't really know what to say to that. I could say a lot of things. I certainly have my fair share of vegan food in LA, which I'll go into in a little bit. Now, essentially what's in this bag, everybody, is the same thing except, so I got another box of um, cookie, or not cookie, cereal bars. Can't really think straight, but I did get these, which are oatmeal chocolate chip Quest bars. So, that is awesome. Guys, it does not stop there. That's only like 25% of what I actually got. Yeah, you guys are gonna see right here, all of these, these, all of these bags right here are filled with just, well this is all Enlightened Broad Beans. Now, you guys, Enlightened, shout out to Enlightened because Enlightened is amazing. Look at this, 100 calories, sweet cinnamon, which is the best flavor ever. So you guys should go check those out. Seriously guys, the macros on these are awesome right here. So you have in 100 calories, two and a half grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, six grams of fiber. So I have to watch myself with these. Um, but I have an entire bag full, um, and I even have more in my pantry as well. You guys can see right down there, an entire box of those. So, and then we have right here, these are all just like the different types of um, goodies that I picked up. You guys seriously only saw in my little cheat day video, uh, cheat day at the expo video, I only got, um, I really only, it's, Okay, let me just put it this way. So you have to edit um, one episode of the YouTube house while you're in the actual YouTube house, which again, I'll go into a little bit later. Unfortunately, I wasn't really expecting that, so I brought my laptop, and I was only really able to edit at like a very, let's just say, mediocre pace. And so I didn't get to include, like, I included probably about 10 to 20% of all my clips from the expo itself. So you guys will be seeing the full expo footage in my next vlog. So go stay tuned for that. Uh, but this is all freaking just carnage right here. We have popcorn. We have um, this, which I'm very excited to try. This is a gluten-free vegan chocolate chip cookie right here, which looks absolutely amazing. Um, I got a ton of these right here, which are lar bars, peanut butter chocolate chip flavor. I don't normally eat these. Um, then we have these, which look actually really good. Lenny and Larry's Muscle Brownie. Right there, so those are good as well. Um, I think I'm actually the tastiest thing at the expo was the buff bake, chocolate chocolate chip protein cookie. Um, so funny. Um, so we have 100, well, 300 calories, 14 grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fiber, and 16 grams of protein in this entire thing. Um, yeah, guys, the expo is absolutely insane. I just wanted to really show you guys that because, I mean, expos are fun and everything, but you guys really get a ton of stuff um, at the expo. You just got to talk to the right people, get to know some people. I may or may not be doing a challenge with all these guys, so you guys better stay tuned for that. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I got, of course. Um... But yes, what are we doing? Who is tuning in right now? Because I'm going to finally be sitting down after a long day editing. I'm going back to work tomorrow, which would be interesting. You guys get to see Hanan. All right, why did I just say Hanan? Hanan is the lowest subscriber, but I meant to say Harold. I guess they both start with H, but guys, I am very sick and it's troubling to me troubling for me i guess you can say what's more troubling is the fact that i shaved and instantly regretted it instantly and my snapchat made sure to let me know that because i got all these snapchats from people going why did you shave why did you shave blah 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 the world's coming to an end it's like well thanks guys appreciate it appreciate it thanks for um thanks for the support I don't know, it was just hard because like, I know hair grows back and everything. I'm trying to get this mounted, everybody, so stick with me for a second. Hair grows back, but that was a pretty big decision on my part. Um, let's see, let's see. So is YouTube House done? World Class wants to know if YouTube House is done, and YouTube House is not done. I unfortunately had to leave early due to the fact that I have to work. I couldn't stay the full 10 days. 
Um, but it was a very, very fun experience. I had a lot of fun during my time at the YouTube house. Um, but it was time for me to leave. It was time for me to leave. Uh, YouTube house is not only five days, it is 10 days. Um, Cassidy, the runner, at, wants to know what the chemistry at the YouTube house with everyone having a different diet was like. Some vegan, some not, some raw. Was it awkward at all? And I'll be going into that in a second. I want to let you guys know that I am having my famous delicious and nutritious salad. You guys can only kind of see a little snippet of it. I am actually having corn, um, the meatless chicken nuggets right here, some Brussels sprouts, cabbage with a nice Asian vinaigrette with some jasmine rice. You guys I'm trying to get you guys to see that right there. Um, and of course, everybody, I'm going to be featuring all of you right now in the next vlog because I'm that nice and I always like to do it. So you guys are checking in right now. We are doing the live stream tonight. I have all my little subscribers right here. We have Sophie Fitness, Sophia, Cassie the Runner, Lindsay Lozano, Boom, Hanan, World Class Douchebag, The Regulars. My voice sounds absolutely horrible, but it's okay because... We all get sick at some point of our lives. We all get sick at some point of our lives. And I want to put this right here while I get my essential for these. Because these are the best. Or this is the best, I should say. Can't start any live stream without the diet soda pour. Right, guys? It's not a it's not a live stream without that. This is extra fizzy tonight for some reason. Very fizzy. Very 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 fizzy. Um, um. So, anyways, first because. I really want to, you know, oh, by the way, if I haven't mentioned this already, live streams, always use the gold fork now. Gold fork. I'm trying to get this rice without freaking getting a piece of cabbage. And of course, something has to fall. Don't fall on me. Focus. Thank you. Thank you for focusing. The awkwardness though. So the chemistry at the house. Now, everybody, something that I don't do too often is moving out. Well, not moving out, but living with other people. The cool thing about the YouTube house, and I'm gonna go into like this in the next vlog actually, it's like it's living with or you're living essentially with like people again, it's kind of like living in a dorm. Um, but the cool thing is like you're into fitness and everybody's main goal is to achieve better quality of life. And it doesn't necessarily have to boil down to your diet. You can coexist with people around you without having to worry about your diet. Uh, so I, we, we all were doing things together. We weren't focusing on our food intake or our diet or anything really. Um, we were there to have a good time. Some of us wanted to go out to eat. And when we did go out to eat, we could go to vegan places, we could go to non-vegan places, it didn't really matter. So that was the cool thing about the YouTube house. Um, shout out to Hugo Struick, who's eating a pizza stromboli right now. This actual, okay guys, I made this little vinaigrette out of rice vinegar, sugar, soy sauce, and sesame seeds. I think that's it. And it's actually turning out pretty good. But Chelsea is 100% vegan though. I don't really understand why you put butt there, but. <laughs> mm. 
What did you think of the experience of living with so many people in the house? Was the organization difficult, cleaning, buying food, etc.? Um, I think people, like for me at least, you have to really, you have to be a very, um, let's just say, like bad person to like piss me off or like make me not like you and not want to live with you because I keep to myself for the most part and um, I don't know like I'm very like I've taken on a new approach especially within the new year to uh, be more relaxed be open-minded and especially in cases like this and um, it was organized really well and we all I we were all just able to have a good time and that's what the whole goal was so Um, who was the best cook there? Definitely Brian Turner. Definitely Brian Turner. Where did you find the rice vinegar at the grocery store? It's actually rice vinegar is one of the most common places. Well, I mean, rice vinegar is very, very common to find. Um, let's see here. Uh, did you have a hard time integrating yourself since you're not used to doing a lot on your own. I'm used to doing a lot on my own, but living with other people, not so much. Um, I'll say that uh, at first, yeah, but over time, it actually really got a lot easier. Um, I roomed with Craig Ritchie, who's an awesome, awesome guy, has his YouTube channel. You guys can check him out. Um, yeah, it was actually really cool. I meant Chelsea and Brian eat any non-vegan foods or did they stay 100% vegan the entire time? Uh, no, they didn't. <laughs> They're not just uh, uh, vegans. Vegans, get it? Because uh -huh. I got called that a lot. No, uh, believe it or not, when you – I mean, Brian and Chelsea are one of the most – or some of the most honest people I've ever met in my entire life and some of the most genuine people, they wouldn't just do that for YouTube. It's not like – as soon as the camera goes off, they turn into meat eaters. So yes, they did. <laughs> Bless me. How'd you get picked to be in the YouTube house? Well, I'm actually very good friends with Brian Turner and Chelsea and John. And so um, I was actually there last year. Who is my favorite cyclist? I don't have a current favorite cyclist right now. I have a current favorite powerlifter, and it's Lane Norton because I met him. Because I'm not cool. Huh. Which leads me into my next one. Um, the LA Fit Expo. Now, a lot of you have probably seen a plethora of videos out there talking about the Rich Piana fight, what happened. And guys, <laughs> one of the people that I talked to at the expo actually had like a 20 minute conversation with him. Who's a fucking awesome guy is Jerry Ward. Um, Jerry actually used to be a five percenter and like he knows rich and everything. He actually put up a video and everything. Um, but I just had a really good conversation with him about the entire event. And I mean, Jerry went there after it all happened and everything, but I was actually a few booths over from the fight when it actually happened. And it's guys, it's, it's funny how hyped up these things get. Like I think every single fitness channel has actually covered this in detail already. Like Scott Herman fitness. I saw made a fucking video on it already. Um, which is fucking hilarious, but guys, it's like YouTube fitness is like, it's just, it's, it's so it's sensationalized and it's, it's just hilarious to see things like this when they do happen because Rich is fine. Everybody's fine. It's just, it was a, it was a chump move by, by, uh, whatever his name is, Mac, Mac truck, Mac daddy. I don't know. Um, I saw the punch and everything and it was pretty much just like, it was a sucker punch. It was just stupid, but 
basically, I just see it as a stupid fight between two guys over money for the most part. Um, Jerry, um, I will say at the expo itself, I met so many awesome fucking people. Like I was just talking about Jerry. I talked to Jerry. I met Jerry last year and, um, you know, it's, it sucks. Like now that we've, um, kind of established like a, I wouldn't really call us. We're not like friends. We're more of acquaintances and everything, but, um, you know, Jerry was kind of on the same page. We actually talked more about the YouTube glitch than anything. Like Jerry's kind of upset that that's all happening as much as I am. All of us are. And, um, yeah, it was kind of, it was pretty interesting to hear his perspective on everything. And then, um, obviously walking around meeting subscribers was really, really cool. And for me, really the whole expo itself, um, I didn't really find that. I mean, I didn't even meet that many subscribers really. I didn't. <laughs> and it was pretty cool because I mean, the few that I did meet, they were so like down to earth and like, holy shit, like you're here. That's awesome. And I got to spend more time with them and have more conversations with them and talk to them about their lives rather than just my videos and everything, which is really cool. I got to sign someone's fucking belt, which is awesome. Someone had me sign their Inzer belt, which is really cool. And it was just an overall, like just an amazing experience. I did. I mean, I filmed some, uh, some, I just walked around, got free supplements other than that and like, and just chilled. But I mean, it was cool to just kind of relax and enjoy the time there. So, um, but yeah, Paul Demanio, I don't understand how people idolize people like rich. I like him, but he's just steroided the fuck out. And that's not something I want to look up to. You are free to look up to anything you want to look up to, sir. Um, just because like the steroids and Rich's physique is only one part of Rich. Rich may be a really awesome guy, but I don't like to judge people's personalities unless I've met them in person and I've got to be around them and experience them in the flesh. World class says next year he will go. I'm holding you to that world class. I can't guarantee I will be there next year. Unfortunately. Those Brussels sprouts though, which are cold now. Sophia wants me to sign her face next time. Sophia was there, everybody. Seems like Sophia was bummed to be there. Um, I know traveling can take a lot out of you. It certainly took out a lot of, a lot out of me. Um, are you going to collab with Matt Stoney soon? I think this question gets asked every single live stream. How are you tweaking your fitness regimen for 2017? That is a fantastic question, sir. As I finished up today, I finally hit 165. For a five by five, it only took me like freaking. This is sarcasm, of course. It only took me a freaking like month to break that plateau. Um, that's a good thing about going away and realizing what normal is and what I've. And I was actually going to talk about this in the podcast tonight that I'm going to be recording. Is that um, having a regimen for things like this is not required. I need to start setting agendas and planning more of my life out, but fitness is not something I need to really plan my life out. I'm, I'm going to be in any fitness environment for the rest of my life uh, because fitness is something that makes me happy, brings happiness to my life. But um, the way I see it, I, I plan on doing um, in 2017 more coaching. I plan on um, growing more both as a person and, and physically as well. So, um, I mean, I trained at Barbell Brigade uh, a few days ago and was in the gym with Matt Ogus, Chris Lovato. I deadlifted in front of fucking Matt Ogus and I had Lane Norton in the background and that was like huge for me. And um, I mean, just, I was so inspired by that day that I want to, like, it, it took me into another world. And so I feel like with my uh, love of eating, my love of powerlifting that I really want to do more with that. And uh, the bike has always been something that I've never really been competitive at. Um, granted, I have a few events bike-wise I have planned for, for 17, but 
uh, this year is, is really about me uh, becoming an adult. I've already said that enough, but I plan on uh, really taking my love of, of those two things and in, in doing more with it in 2017. So, um, which would eventually involve a powerlifting meet in 2017. I could definitely see myself doing that. So. Any planned bike rides, races coming up? I have a 142 mile bike ride with my coworkers called the Belgian Waffle Ride in May and a few criteriums. Other than that, I don't really aim to do much. Was Matt Ogus like four foot tall? <laughs> Four feet tall. Matt is a short guy, but Matt is a very, very nice guy. I had a, a like five minute conversation with him. Um, Matt is the fucking dude. I don't know how uh, how else to say it, but Matt is a guy that um, very, very humble, down to earth, wants to like know about you and uh, what you're doing in life and everything. And um, yeah, Matt is Matt looks out for his subscribers. We'll just say that too. Um, find rug. I don't know what find rug means. <laughs> uh, also met Chris Lovato too. Took a picture with him. Um, I was kind of over, like every time you guys go to expos and everything, either you train at Gold's in Venice or you train at Barbell Brigade. And I wasn't going to do everything that everybody else was doing. Like, I just, it's kind of like, it's typical. I mean, I trained at Barbell like two days after the expo. It was just funny that Jim Shark and um, all those guys happened to be there when I was there. They actually came in after we came, got there. But um, yeah, it was just cool to, to see everybody and be in the same environment. So um, I used to hate Brussels sprouts. Now I love them just like you. Sorry, Eric, I must get off now because it's late here. Have a good evening. Thank you. Speaking of Brussels sprouts and the next challenge, what I will be doing for the next challenge, if it isn't the, I mean, guys, because realistically, I don't know what I'm going to do with those quest bars. I mean, I'll have some, as most of you may know, I like to get my calories in, most of my food intake in through whole food. Um, so I might do a giveaway or I might do an actual challenge. But for my next challenge, I want to do a world record. And that is going to be either 200 chicken McNuggets or I'm going to be eating The most Brussels sprouts ever eaten in one sitting. Let that simmer in for a second. <laughs> when this video gets posted, I want you guys to comment down below and vote for what you want to see. The one with the most views, not the most views, but the most votes is a challenge that I will do. This is the first time that I've ever had something like this, to my knowledge, done. So, oh, I forgot. The third option is a mukbang. So I will do a mukbang of a, um, let's just say, American... Well, actually, a mukbang of your choice. Comment on that, and I might do that. Do a raw egg drinking challenge. No, thank you. 
Brussels sprouts and feta cheese. Interesting. That is something I would love to try, except I don't really do cheese. Um... Are you allowed to talk about why Nate couldn't come up? Or is that private info? Um, Nate could not make it because I guess he had some issues with, I think, family members or something like that. So he could not make it. What are you eating? Says Maddie Noodle. I am eating cabbage. How much do you weigh? No idea. Argentinian food, bro, with a lot of meat. If you want to send me Argentinian food, let me know. Because I will certainly accept that. Next thing I want to talk about, everybody, is the fact that my Final Cut Pro... I'm in a dilemma right now, guys, because either I'm going to... I, I, okay. I got to the I got to the YouTube house. Everybody has their laptops and everybody's editing videos while they're there. And I could not do shit because my computer is so slow on Final Cut Pro. Every single time that I cut something, it takes about three to four seconds to actually cut the clip in Final Cut Pro. I have like forty gigs of hard drive. Excuse me, hard drive space, space left, and I can't do it. Like I can't work within that, can't edit, and I want to be able to edit at work. So either I am going to buy more RAM for my computer, which may solve the problem, or I have to buy a new computer. I really don't want to buy a new computer. I tried consolidating all the files in Final Cut Pro. Um, if anybody has any suggestions on how I can improve my laptop speed, let me know because I bought an external hard drive. It's a terabyte, and I put basically all my backup files in Final Cut Pro, and it's just still not working. Um, so if anybody has, has any ideas, let me know. Um, I have eight gigabytes of RAM in my laptop right now. It sucks. The thing about my files is that when you go to max now, you can go to storage. Let's take you guys with me for a second. Because I found out that I could do this last live stream. You guys are going to see a little snip into Eric's laptop if this wants to work. Oh, great. Great, great, great. Okay. Let's see here. Desktop. Oh, shit. You guys are seeing me. Ha ha. There you guys. Oh, okay. Okay. So we go up here to about this Mac. Eight gigabytes right there of RAM until oh, it's a 2.6 gigahertz processor. Let's see my storage right here 44 gigs free. Even when I've made this, like I don't even know what other is, but um, I mean, I do have a good amount of video on here, but yeah, I have an external hard drive and it still wouldn't work, it still would suck. So if anybody has any idea, let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. So. I will try freeing up some hard drive space, but that would involve me deleting pretty sure like my OS or something like that. Something that is, is essential to it. So I'll try, but. Um, have you tried using Adobe Premiere? Yes, it's garbage and I hate it.
I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. New American Mukbang. Cancel of capacity challenge. No, thank you. What's the problem again? Ask Ridge Reed. So basically when I'm in Final Cut Pro, the speed is stupid slow and I can't actually edit anything. I can, it just takes absolutely forever. Any tips for anyone doing a chicken wings challenge? Great question. What you should do is go to Randy Santel's website. No. If it's a spicy wings challenge, focus on your milk consumption. If it's an actual capacity wings challenge, learn how to eat a chicken wing really fast. That's how you win. So it sounds like the processor and getting a rendering card. I don't know what a rendering card is. I'm really stupid when it comes to computers, man. White flower challenge, cute. Cute, 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 cute. Everybody, by the way, if you haven't already, send me your Snapchats right now because I'm gonna go eat some more food. And we will do a Q&A. Snapchat me. At Eric the Electric. Boom. Right now, did you see Eric Konefke in Nikki Black Letters wedding? I met up with Eric. You'll see him in the next video. Well, I didn't meet up with him. I ran ran into him. Let's just put it that way. I ran into him. That son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. I mean, pretty cheeky guy. We'll put it that way. Pretty clever. Good troll. I think my trolling skills are a little better. You guys will see that in the next video again, of course. But, I mean, we all have our trolling ways. You guys know that I'm good at that, though. Sorry, guys. This is what happens when your food gets cold. When your food gets cold. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Yes, I just said that. Get over it. Get over it. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Y'all gonna make me go all out up in here, up in here. But I'm just losing subscribers by the hour just for singing that. Okay. So. I found out with my Instagram, not my Instagram, but my Snapchat that I can't actually add anymore because I'm at my max capacity with people. So that is why um, this person is just. Can you do a 50 apple challenge? No, thank you. So I haven't done one of these in forever. So I'm just going to say. Get ready for it, everybody, because after I read these. So, Cody, who says, have you watched the OA? It's my favorite series. I just mentioned that in the latest well, vlog before last. 
So yes, I started the OA. Everybody, we're about to do a 10 minute rapid fire Q&A. I haven't done one of these in forever. So in 10 minutes, you get to ask me any question you'd like. Any question, no, no limits at all. And three, two, and one, 10 minutes. How come he isn't at the YouTube house in all caps? As I said earlier, I had to leave early due to work. Go back to work tomorrow. YouTube house is for 10 days. How do you burn all the calories that you eat? Because it's a lot, it is a lot and you are not fat. I move more than the average person. Daniel Weeb, shout out to you, buddy. He says, you're looking great. Please love the live streams. Please keep it up. Since you're getting into powerlifting, are you considering bulking? I don't believe in bulking. I believe in points of time in which you want to get stronger. I think uh, living life in terms of bulking and cutting is pretty stupid and typical. Last relationship. Uh, what about it? What's your current calories? Generally between 4,000 and 4,500. Do you still measure your body fat and what is it? No and no. If you could be one celebrity for the day, who would it be? Um, I'd have to be, I don't know, I'd like to be, here's a good one. No idea. Um, shit, this is, this is stumping me. There's actually so many. Uh, Will Smith, I'd like to be Will Smith, he's a G. I saw this in the comments, but could you make a statement on people saying you have an eating disorder? I don't know what statement you want me to make because everyone has an opinion. What would you recommend? Would you recommend a communications major to anyone? Did you find you learn a lot or are they just making you for a fancy title? Um, communications is pretty much a degree, a business degree without an actual business degree. So I would highly recommend it. Shout out to Alex Amaro who says, I just want to say thank you for helping me with my eating disorder. Keep it up, Alex. If you'll be banned on a lonely island, three things you get with you. Water, food, and ice cream. Which is food, but you get the picture. Shout out to Tara, Tara Forrest, who says, I really look up to you. Just want to say your videos pull me through a lot. Thank you for everything. Shout out to you, Tara. I always love reading comments like that, guys. It's awesome. Current thoughts on soy. Um, hear a lot of negative things about it, unless it's organic. Um... There's a lot of misconceptions out there about soy. Uh, one of them being that soy causes increased estrogen levels and that's not the case at all. Um, if I could have dinner with anyone, who would it be? It would be you, Sophie. How'd you deal with gyno, my man? Um, check out the video. Pretty much going to a lot of specifics on the video. Favorite celeb? I don't really have a favorite celeb. I think celebrities. I don't really believe in celebrities, though. I mean, the typical celebrities, I mean, I answered the question earlier because of who we typically think of celebrities, but it's funny when you hang out with people that are so, like, revered in society, like, well, the fitness world, like, Lane Norton and Matt Ogus, and you find they're just normal people like you are. It's, like, puts things into perspective. Do you know other YouTubers who perform food challenges on their channels? I do. How long took you to reach that level of douchiness? Probably as long as it took you to reach that level of being able to spell cor correctly. 
That should have been a mean comment in a mean comment video. Check out Snapchat. I already did. How's life, Eric? Life is going pretty well right now. I do go back to, to work tomorrow, so it may change. In fact, it will change. What do you think of the Korean mukbangs? Have you seen how ripped some of them are? Now, I've never seen a Korean mukbang be ripped. I've seen some people do them be ripped. That was just me being cheeky. Um, I've seen a lot of people do mukbangs. I see you still hitting PR. It says Rich Ridge Reed. Have you ever thought of hiring a coach for programming? I have not because I, I mean, if I got serious with it and I wanted to do like a meet, I'd probably hire a coach, but I really don't find it to be rocket science to progressively overload in the gym. It's not that hard. You just have to do things differently and challenge yourself in many ways. Eat Food says, do you have merch? I do have merch. Ben and Jerry's challenge? Potentially. Thoughts on whey protein? I have so much of it. That is disgusting. Protein is key. Indeed, protein is key. So are carbohydrates and fat. And vegetables. Do you eat mushrooms? Shout out to my boy, Mr. Brian Turner, for turning me on to mushrooms because mushrooms are delicious. The answer is yes, I love mushrooms. Do you consume vitamins or proteins? Technically, with this plate, I'm consuming both of those. I think if you do, if you didn't, you didn't consume either, you'd be dead. And I really don't like being dead. <laughs> Ski or snowboarding? I'm a skier. No, what the hell am I saying? I'm a snowboarder. Snowboarding for life, bro. Ever tried creatine? Yes, and I bloated up like a mofo. Ideas how to stop big cravings. Um, I wouldn't know. I don't really get cravings anymore. I kind of wish I did. But I would say if you're having cravings for something, I generally say to enjoy a serving of it. For example, if you like cookies, have a serving of cookies with your dinner or after your dinner. Does your powerlifting negatively affect your cycling in any way, or have you found it to help in your ways? Other than really having bad glute and quad delayed on onset muscle soreness after like heavy squat or deadlift days, it really hasn't affected it. Would you rather be muscu muscular or ch <laughs> what? Sorry. Would you? Have I know you're trying to say muscular, but you said muscular. Um. Would you rather be muscular but chubby or skinny like Durian Rider? I it depends on what I'm doing. If I would have if I would have never found a, a bike in my life and never started road cycling, I'd probably just want to be a fat power lifter. What was it like meeting reckless eating? Fucking awesome, and you guys should really stay tuned for that video. I think they're going to be putting it out at the end of the month. Such cool dudes. Do 
I drink a lot of water to help the cravings go away. No, drinking water does not make cravings go away. Sorry. What is your sexual orientation? I am straight. Heterosexual. Thoughts on, ooh. Well, it got me there. Guys, that was a 10 minute. Rapid fire q and I haven't done one of those in a while. I kinda like those. Once again, everybody, I wanna remind all of you that you should all leave your comments down below when this video gets posted for the next challenge. I give you guys the options already. Um, so one of the options that I gave to you guys, let me know. Now, the last question can be, again, anything you like, but I pick one question at the end of every single live stream and I answer it to the best of my ability. So let's see those questions, everybody. Shout out to Elijah Moore says, Eric, you are a savage. Savage. I prefer to be a savage. Only, I mean, I like my savagery to be to come up to people who are just being trolls. But just the approach I like to take. Should I take antidepressants? Should you? I don't know. <laughs> kind of a weird question to ask somebody. I have no idea your history or anything like that, so it's kind of interesting. <laughs> Is it bad if my dick sucked inward and I can't see it? Oh man, I love you guys. What is your vision for your podcast and which direction would you like to take it? Sophie, I love you. I really do. I'm going to get out the microphone for this one and put it close to my face because I can. And I'm going to pick Sophie's question because it is one that I've wanted to address for a long time, everybody. And for those of you who are unaware, I do have my own podcast channel. So you, get, you guys should all go check it out. Link is in the description to every video. It's called Electric Talks. And that was something, uh, I one of my goals that I wanted to have for this year, and I actually started it right before this year started. And my goals with my podcast channel is to actually get on iTunes and have multiple different episodes kind of talking about a little bit of everything. I already talked about my story. I have two episodes up already, but I want to share my story with the world. I want to talk more about uh, the things that we all, that has nothing to do with fitness. I mean, some episodes are going to be about fitness, but I'm going to have more guests on. I'm going to have a lot of you on. If you guys want to be on my podcasts, send me a uh, message on Facebook. Again, my Facebook is in the link uh, to every single video. So just hit me up on Facebook. If you have a story that you want to share, or you just want to talk about fitness, nutrition, or anything like that, I'd love to have you guys on. I have guests on and um, yeah, we can go from there. But I want to be able to, to talk more, share my voice, share my, um, my thoughts on everything. So that will be coming up more. You guys can check that out. Unfortunately, right now I can't get my RSS feed to validate on my iTunes Connect, so I can't get any of my episodes from SoundCloud onto iTunes. So I probably will have to create a whole other SoundCloud channel, unfortunately, but that's just the way it is for now. I'm going to be recording my next podcast here in a few minutes after this live stream ends. So if you guys have any any ideas for any podcasts, leave them down below when this video slash live stream gets posted, and I will be sure to give you a nice little shout out if I do go with that idea. I'm actually going to be doing uh, my next podcast on um, three main topics and uh, one of them being earning your food in terms of um, exercise and exercise addiction and everything and also the next one is going to be next topic in that podcast is going to be 
uh, your our own identities and how we see ourselves. And then the third one is going to be just the fitness world in general. So uh, it's going to be definitely an interesting live stream, but I do have room for another interesting topic I want to throw in there. So let me know down in the comments below. Guys, if you enjoyed this live stream, just let me know. I always like hearing from you guys. Uh, it's been an awesome little podcast and again, or an awesome little live stream. And I love um, talking to you guys, interacting with you guys. Uh, it's been over a week since I've done a live stream. So that is the whole goal of these to do them more. But uh, yeah, I have a lot coming up in 2017. I'm excited for the next challenge. I'm excited to um, yeah, just have a good 2017. Everybody stay tuned for the next video. Leave those comments down below next challenge everything what do we say world class don't go ride a walmart bike but go ride a bike love you guys